so I want to talk a bit about Foccon Volvo 2 by Audio Thing and it's Foccon Volvo, not Fuck Convolver, and it's a pretty important difference there. Um, so if you own this plugin already, you can head over to the Audio Thing page and you can download this new update for free because it features a new space simulator here. And this is made by Laser. And I pronounce it laser because it looks like laser. It's a German word for reading. So I'd say so I just say laser. And they made a space simulator. And what you can do with this is basically you can change the room size of the space here. We can change the uh, audio source or position the audio source within this room. We can also position here the listener position inside of this room. And we can define the materials for this room here. Yeah, you can see the front wall have heavy curtains. Then we can change the back wall, uh, ceiling, floor maybe to a thick carpet, right? Um, right wall maybe, let's say, wooden panels. So you can change the material and the resonance of this room, how it sounds to be within this room. Um, then we have something like here reflection depth and I think this is something like um, bounces inside of Blender where you retrace or retrace graphics, right? And you uh, want to define the number of how many bounces the, uh, the simulation does. And yeah, it's basically how many bounces you want to have of these audio reflections inside of this room. I think th that's what it does. I, I'm not really sure, I'm 100% sure. Um, and then when you define basically everything, you can say, I want to generate a new impulse response and load it into IR one slot in this one here. So we hit generate, and then you can see we have a new impulse response here generated. And it sounds like this, 100% wet, or let's say zero dB. Let's bring the listener closer here to the audio source. Generate. We can also use here auto generate. So every time I change something, it re-renders basically the impulse response. Maybe make the room a bit smaller. That's nice. So then when you are kind of happy with your impulse response here, you can export this impulse response then, which is kind of nice because there are not many in impulse response generators on the market. I only know this one here and the other one by laser called Eigen um, and then some Vox Voxango plugins from 20 years ago. Um, that's it basically on the market right now for impulse response generators. So there's not much you can uh, actually buy at the moment. So that's also why I do this video because um, I think it's always nice to highlight these special plugins where you have or where you can create stuff that's not, you know, usually uh, easy to create. Um, I did a video some videos some in some of my recent videos i did something where you can create impulse responses from within bitwig uh, but it's not that easy right so here you just click a few buttons uh, turn a few knobs and then you can generate a new impulse response so when you are happy with this impulse response here you can choose then export wave and put it in some kind of directory it's just a wave file impulse response for convolver here and then call it um Let's say small piano space and then hit save. And then you can disable this plugin and call here the internal Bitwig device convolution reverb. And then we can just load this WAV file into this convolution device here and use that. So you can generate spaces from um, Foccon Volvo 2, which is really nice to have. Um, you don't need to use the space sim. You can also use here the older generator. 
which kind of generates some uh, white noise, but it's actually quite handy. So you can say, I want to have a reverb that's 10 seconds long, right? Uh, density, fade in time. We can also define here a filter sweep. So we want to start here with the low pass at 1K. And at the end, we want to filter down to, let's say 100 Hertz here, maybe something like this, no resonance. So it slowly, you know, removes um, overtones from the reverb. Um, then we introduce here maybe a bass cut, 20 Hertz, that's okay. And then stereo and load into impulse response slot one, generate. And then you can see it's no longer, it's now 10 seconds here. And again, we can export this. Um, I don't know why it doesn't remember here my directory and let's call this long reverb it's it's safe and again we can use this in the convolution device here of bitwig studio uh, drag this in and we have your 10 second reverb now So the workflow of generating impulse responses with this is much, much, much better than what I showed you in my recent video about generating impulse responses in Bitwig. Because here, like I said, you just turn a few knobs, push a few buttons, and you have a nice sampled impulse response that you can use in all kinds of convolution devices, uh, not only of Bitwig. Um, the convolution device of Bitwig. So it's pretty handy. And if you already own this, and I know a lot of people own this that watch my channel, then um, you can just download this for free. I just want to give you basically this update. And uh, if you don't own Fog Convolver and you don't want to buy it for some reason, because I think it's a, it's a nice plugin, uh, not only because of the space sim, because you also have the generator here and the browser with some of my uh, presets. <laughs> no? um, you can also head over to the laser.io page and maybe look into Eigen, which is just a space simulator on its own in its own plugin. So it's the same thing. You have a listener position, source position, room. You can change here the materials of the walls. You can render then into an into a file, into a WAV file. Can even analyze this here, not really sure. So yeah, there's a, its own plugin basically here called Eigen. I put you the link to audio thing and Eigen into the description below. This video is not affiliated, so it's just, you know, so you know. So that's it for, the, for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Ask me questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.